um, today is December 24 Christmas Eve and uh, I just wanted to share an interesting video about uh, one of the trending topics uh, it's called AI agents um, by now many of you might uh, are already familiar with uh, popular generative AI tools like uh, ChatGPT and Copilot um, but uh, this concept of AI agents is uh, something massive guys so I think everybody should uh, pay uh, like a uh, closer attention uh, I've been following this technology for a while and I'm truly uh, excited by its potential impact on the AI landscape um, in a recent interview Mark Zuckerberg mentioned his belief that billions and even trillions of AI agents will be de uh, deployed in the near future uh, this might be fundamentally transferring our lives, you know. Uh, while it remains to be seen what lies ahead, let me briefly explain what uh, AI agents are and how they work. Uh, so let's take an analogy of online booking system like Expedia. Uh, a traditional chatbot can help you book a vacation without much trouble, uh, assuming you use like a current credit card, you know. Uh, yeah, imagine like booking a trip uh, only to later discover that it uh, coincides with some season of hurricanes or some like bad weather, severe storms, etc. Um, your long awaited vacation would be like uh, totally gone, you know. Uh, this is where AI agents come in. Unlike like standard chatbots, AI agents are designed to be more autonomous. They can provide uh, proactive feedback such as weather updates, safety evacuation, evaluation. Uh, and uh, cost comparison for your like destination etc etc so beyond that these agents could uh, analyze your travel history understand your preferences uh, recommend alternative destinations better suited to your taste and circumstances uh, this is uh, just one example of how autonomous ai or like ai agents can elevate uh, user experience let's just deep dive into this uh, from the technical side uh, so guys, I have created a folder called AI Agents, uh, which has uh, two subfolders, uh, uh, which is like uh, which has like a BE and FE, which called, which is like a backend and frontend part. Uh, let's go into the backend part. Uh, so I have created one API called Stock Performance, uh, which takes uh, stock as a, a string uh, query parameter, and uh, it does not do any fancy stuff, but it just displays uh gives you some like pretty good uh, json output uh like stocks its fundamentals uh with some error code uh, uh, basically you uh it will just parse some uh data uh and if it and if it finds some particular like query uh string of my interest then you know it will try to just display that uh stock information uh, so pretty much it's a very straightforward API, but the main thing that why I wanted to uh, make this video was to uh, give you an idea of uh, AI agents. So uh, let's go towards the some of my imports. So there is something called like file data, which has been gaining like a lot of popularity nowadays. Uh, from where I'm like using their AI agents. Um, I'm using like a Grok cloud. Uh, if you guys are familiar with AWS, GCP, Azure, it's uh, kind of similar to that, but uh, they, they have like, I think, more flexible LLM models, um, which can be used in a fly. Um, I have used a model, Llama model uh, 3.1. This is not that much reliable, and uh, I would not suggest this to use on any of your like production or like lower environment. This is just for like demo purpose, uh, but uh, that uh, makes my uh, that makes life easy for me just to make this video. Um, so we have just initialized uh, an agent, uh, passed like that Llama model from the Grok Cloud. Um, and there is something called like tools guys where it, it takes uh, a list. Uh, and these are the actual like AI agents guys. It is using, uh, I'm using like a Yahoo Finance tools. Uh, you can pass like Bloomberg or, or like any NYSE uh, stocks data here it can be like appended in this list not a problem so you can use like multiple agents uh, in this uh, in this piece of code uh, and that's how like uh, the future is gonna uh, that's how I see the future guys there will be like a lot of lot of AI agents and uh, the way how we write uh, API is gonna be totally uh, 
um, totally changed. Uh, these are some of the like uh, additional information like how you can display the data i just wanted to display as a, like a table something like that uh, debug mode can be off not a problem uh, rest of the code is pretty straightforward i can share this code uh, it is just doing some like data processing and just, just data messaging um, and uh, displaying the like json output and just try if it errors, it, it is it is it is just uh, uh, following some like coding standard. Not a big deal at all. Uh, backend part it's pretty much straightforward. Uh, it is making a call to the API and just giving me that JSON response. We can use this data. Uh, how, however, we want uh, we can display this data like uh, how however we want. You know. Um, so let's go to this uh code and let's try to deploy this uh i have already used docker you can see there is a docker file uh this docker file is used to dockerize this application it's uh, just it's a simple like a flask uh, application which uses like a g unicorn uh, like a pretty much standard python uh, web application uh, i would say so let's uh, try to run the docker which is exposed to port 8080 um, the docker build i have already done that before this video so let's see let's run this uh, docker command to start this application so you can see docker is building up uh, and let me just go and do a curl to this command and let's see the output okay here's the curl command and uh stock performance is my api i'm just passing apple as a query parameter now you can see there's a beautiful json response guys um and to get this response what i did i did nothing guys i just uh i just call this llm model uh i just use this grok cloud and just use the yahoo finance uh, api uh, or like uh, it's like uh, agents and that was good enough for me to display this data uh, this application is also deployed on the google cloud platform actually um, uh, it's not fully completed actually so if you see this url um, this is the project that has been deployed in the google cloud and uh, right, i don't think this will work right now let me just try uh, anyways this is uh, this is uh, there is still a um, something uh, some work that i need to do but uh, this application has been dockerized uh, pushed into the oh okay so it displayed actually that's awesome so ionq it didn't give me all the data but actually yeah there is some response from the server actually which is good i just need to customize this api and try to uh, try to improve it if i get some chance this is just for demo i don't have that much time to uh, fully uh, fully uh, like to um, commercialize this uh, website this is just for learning purpose and just like chasing the hype you know like ai agents <laughs> uh, and uh, in addition to that uh, like the react code that i was showing you guys uh, it will look something like this uh, when you pass like any uh, like uh, any stock ticker symbol then it is calling uh, the api like stock performance api and just giving you the output uh, whatever output you get you get you can just uh, process in this ui some work need, needs to be done and uh, just uh, just reiterating if somebody wants to work with me on this project or like similar kind of like ai projects you guys are mostly welcome uh, it's going to be like a weekend work uh, i work uh, like from seven to two or three my office time is going to be like seven to three so if we get some time then yeah whoever is interested on like this kind of like work they are mostly uh they, they should contact me or dm me you know <laughs> all right guys happy new year and merry christmas you guys uh have fun bye